हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इंट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग यू विल गेट एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोज एज सुन एज दे आर अपलोडेड एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टे अप टू डेट विद माई कंटेंट एंड सपोर्ट मी एट द सेम टाइम so today i am going to talk about how we can schedule automatically sync windows devices in bulk using powershell by reading device names from a notepad file now let's quickly check what is the default policy sync or check in frequency available in intune so if device recently enrolled then the compliance non compliance and configuration check in runs more frequently so for new devices the check in frequencies for windows 10 or windows 11 device is every 3 hour for 15 minutes then every 15 minutes for 2 hours and then around every 8 hours regularly and check in frequency for existing windows 10 and windows 11 device is every 8 hours so let's quickly check what are the ways to sync a intune device so mainly we can initiate a synchronization using intune console or using graph explorer or by initiating a manual sync from device end so before we begin if you are new to my channel or yet not subscribe my channel please consider subscribing my channel and turn on the notification so that you won't miss any of my videos so with respect to initiating a synchronization from intune console we have two options the very first option is to initiate a sync per device in which we can select the device and we can initiate a sync from the intune console and second option is to use the bulk device action in which we can add up to 100 devices and initiate a sync from intune so with respect to initiating a synchronization using graph explorer we can run a post command in graph explorer and as you can see in this slide that the query syntax is https colon backslash backslash graph dot microsoft dot com and it's a beta version then we have to go to the device management and then manage device and then we have to provide the device id on which we want to initiate a sync and this device id is nothing but the intune device id and after that we have to put the sync device we can also initiate a sync from device end and there are multiple ways through which we can initiate a sync from the device the very first one is to use the setting apps in which we have to go to the access work or school account and then we can initiate a sync for the device the second option is to use the company portal in which if the company portal application is installed on the windows devices we can initiate a sync from the company portal third way to initiate a sync is by running the task scheduler either manually or by running the powershell command and the name of the task scheduler is push launch fourth way is to initiate a sync is by restarting the intune management extension service either by using a powershell command or by using the service.msc and the last way is to initiate a sync is by restarting the device now the very important question and the reason of creating this video is what is common in all the options to sync a device and the very simple answer is that all the sync option required the manual invention if in case we have to expedite the synchronization process we have to do a lot of efforts to synchronize the device now let's talk about the problem statement or scenario in which this kind of automation is very helpful and in my case the problem statement is that we have to trigger the policy sync on multiple devices automatically at regular interval of time by reading the device name provided in the notepad file so in my case lot of compliance and configuration policies created in intune is showing fail to apply on the device and the very first and the basic action we have to take is to initiate a synchronization from the intune so this is a very time consuming process to initiate a sync either from intune or from machine end or using by a graph explorer so we come up with a solution by running a powershell script using task scheduler or you can also use a azure automation workbook 
which can read the device name from a notepad file and trigger the sync automatically at predefined interval of time. So in my case, I did a lot of automation in which all the machine which needs a policy synchronization because of any reason I am creating a notepad file and dropping to a particular location and my automation is reading those files at a particular interval of time and initiate a sync on those devices and by applying this policy we are able to achieve incremental success rate on all the deployed configuration and compliance policies. Now let's see how we can implement this solution. So to implement this solution, we have to first register an application in Azure Active Directory and provide the required permission so that the PowerShell can use those application ID and secret key to automate the synchronization process. And then we have to create a task scheduler to trigger the PowerShell script as per your predefined interval of time. Now let's see how we can implement this solution. So the very first step is to create the application in Azure Active Directory and to do this we have to go to the Azure Active Directory. Now I am on Azure Active Directory console and within Azure Active Directory we have to go to apps and registration, register a new app. So to do this we have to click on new registration. Here we have to provide the name of the application have provided the sync Intune device as an application name and then we have to click on register now application is created and the very first step is to provide the required api permission and to do this we have to go to api permissions and within api permission we have to click on add a permission then we have to click on microsoft graph and then within that we have to click on application permission and here we have to search for all the permission which we want to provide to the application. So the very first permission is device. Read all permission. Then we have to provide the device manage app read all permission. Third permission is to provide device manage configuration read all. And the fourth permission we have to provide the device management manage device. Here we have to provide device management manage device privileged operation all. This permission is used to perform user impacting remote actions on the Microsoft Intune device like synchronizing a device. And then we have to provide device management service configuration read all permission. And then click on add permission. Now all permissions are added. We have to grant admin consent. So click on this and click on yes. Now the next step is to create a client secret and to do this we have to go to certificate and secrets. Here we have to create a secret and to do this we have to click on new client secret and under description we have to provide the description of this secret and under expiry you can choose the options as per your requirement for now i am going for 180 days and then click add now client secret is created and we have to copy the value otherwise it's going to mask in some time so let me copy the value and under notepad we have to save this value and we are going to use the same value when we are modifying the powershell script along with the secret key we have to copy the application name so this is the application or client id let me copy it and let me save it under app id and third one we have to find the tenant name so to find the tenant name we have to go to the azure active directory under overview we can find the primary domain and this is the tenant name let me copy it and then save it under tenant name now application created successfully now application created successfully and we have to modify the powershell script so that we can create a task scheduler let me close this and let me open the powershell as an administrator let me pull the powershell scripts so these are the two scripts and I will upload these two scripts on GitHub and I will provide the GitHub location in the description section. You can download these two scripts from the GitHub.
let me open the sync windows device script and within that section we have to update the user input section the very first input we have to provide is the device list and this is the text file in which you are going to upload the device on which you want to initiate a sync second one is the logging location by default when you are running the scripts it's going to create a log under c drive in tune bulk device sync and within that there is a sync log if you want to change it you can change the location and then we have to provide the tenant name app id and the secret id we already copied those information while creating the application let me replace it with the required information and let me save it now we have provided all the information required under input section so let me quickly create a device list dot text file under temp folder so let me open the c drive and uh, and then i'm going to create a folder called temp and within that i'm going to create a text file called device list dot text file now before creating a task scheduler to automatically execute this script let me first test this script whether it's working as expected or not so to do this first i am going to run a set execution policy command and then i am going to run the entire script and we can see that the script executed successfully because in the text file we have not added any device that's why it's showing as successful device sync zero and no, total number of device not found is zero and it's also providing the log location let me quickly add one machine in the notepad file and see if it is working or not let me put test pc2 as well as a machine which is not exist in in tune i am going to execute the script again and now we can see that the script automatically detected that the test pc2 device is present in the intune and this is the intune device id and then it's going to send a sync request for the device id test pc2 and successfully completed the sync request for test pc2 and the second device 2323 which is a dummy device for testing purpose is not found in intune or device list total number of successful sync device is one and we can check the log as well within that we can find the detailed information let me pull out the log as well like in successful sync device we can see that the device name test pc2 and the device id is this and the sync is set as is successful and in non successful sync device this 2323 device not found in intune now script is working as expected now next step is to create a task scheduler and to do this we have to run the second script let me pull out the task scheduler script so this is my task scheduler script and within the task scheduler script under user input section we have to provide the task name like i am providing sync bulk device in intune and we have to provide the description and the path of the sync windows device dot ps1 script and the schedule time for now i'm going to schedule it on every day 9 am morning but you can customize it as per your requirement so i already copied sync windows devices dot ps1 file under under temp folder let me show you so within the temp folder i already copied the sync windows device dot ps1 file and now we have to execute this task scheduler and now it's automatically created the task scheduler and the name of the task is the sync bulk device in intune and it's saying that sync bulk device in intune successfully created let me open the task scheduler now within the task schedule library let me refresh it we can see that the sync bulk device in intune is created successfully and the trigger is 9 am every day we can test this by manually running the task scheduler let me first delete the log file so that it's going to automatically populated after successfully execution of the script now i'm going to trigger the task scheduler 
now Dashul completed successfully and if we go to the log location we can see that the log is created successfully we can also check that the sync is initiated successfully on the required devices through intune portal so within intune portal we have to go to the tenant administration and within that we have to go to the audit logs and we can see that the application name sync intune devices which we created in azure portal is initiating a sync on a device if we are doing a manual syncs then we can see that the chandramani pandey is initiating a sync on those devices and one more point if we are initiating a sync using graph explorer then we can see that the chandramani pandey is using a graph explorer application to initiate a sync on the devices i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video